students today we are in session 14 right now listen here we are discussing underground stem modifications in underground stem modifications yesterday we discussed a bulb yes or no what it is bulb now listen this statement sir what is this one sir this is a scale leaf this is a scale leaf sir this is a stem yes or no this becomes what sir axil Sir, axil contains which buds, sir? Axillary bud. Therefore, all these are which buds, sir? Axillary buds. All these are axillary buds. This axillary buds develops into daughter bulb. Which bud this is? Axillary bud. This axillary bud, each axillary bud develops into one daughter bulb. This daughter bulb when separates from the parent plant it develops into an independent plant it means here also axillary bud is used for vegetative propagation axillary bud is used for vegetative propagation is it okay right sir this is a terminal bud what is this one sir terminal bud this is surface of the soil soil surface right soil surface sir this terminal bud develops into aerial shoot what develops into aerial shoot terminal bud develops into aerial shoot terminal bud develops into what sir aerial shoot sir this aerial shoot bears a group of flowers this aerial shoot bears what sir group of flowers can we call this group of flowers as inflorescence yes what sir inflorescence inflorescence therefore see this statement carefully sir this white dot what it indicates sir terminal bud what is another name for terminal bud sir apical bud this terminal bud develops into what aerial shoot this aerial shoot is with what sir inflorescence this aerial shoot with inflorescence is called as scape what it is called as a scape is this statement okay right therefore sir axillary bud what sir axillary bud develops axillary bud develops into what daughter bulb and used for and used for what sir vegetative propagation used for vegetative reproduction which bud axillary bud developed into what daughter bulb used for vegetative reproduction or vegetative propagation what about terminal bud sir terminal bud develops terminal bud develops into what aerial shoot with with inflorescence what is the meaning of inflorescence group of flowers right sir this aerial shoot with inflorescence is called as what this aerial shoot with inflorescence is called as a scape aerial shoot with inflorescence is called as what sir scape aerial shoot with inflorescence is called as scape is this statement okay right now see this diagram carefully yesterday i already told you these are which roots sir adventitious roots what are these roots adventitious roots what is this one stem as a stem is reduced into a disc like structure what is reduced stem is reduced into a disc like structure this leaves appears as if they are arising from roots these leaves are appearing as if they are developed from roots but do these leaves developed from root no they are developed from stem but appearing as if they are developed from roots what are appearing leaves are appearing as if they are developed from where sir root why as stem is reduced into disc like structure such type of leaves are called as radical leaves what are such type of leaves called as radical leaves therefore plants with bulb shows radical leaves plants with what sir bulb shows which type of leaves radical leaves plants uh, with what bulb 
shows uh, which leaves sir radical leaves sir what is the meaning of radical leaves sir radical leaves leaves which are which are developed from where which are developed from stem but appears but appears uh, as if as if they are as if they are developed from root as if they are developed from root why as a stem as a stem reduced into disk like structure as stem is a reduced into what like structure disk like structure see this statement carefully sir we are discussing which leaves sir radical leaves what is the meaning of radical leaves sir sir these leaves are developed from stem only no doubt but they are appearing as if they are developed from root they are appearing as if they are developed from root sir why they are appearing as if they are developed from root sir because stem is reduced into disk like structure as a stem reduced into disk like structure even though the leaves are developed from stem they are appearing as if they are developed from roots such type of leaves are called as a radical leaves take a plant with a bulb in such type of plants you can see which leaves sir radical leaves is this statement okay right some important statements concerned to underground stem modifications note in all underground stem modifications in all underground uh, what stem modifications in all underground stem modification right uh, leaves are modified leaves are what sir modified i am not saying all the leaves leaves are modified uh, into what sir scale leaves leaves are modified into what sir scale leaves number 2 in all underground stem modifications in all underground uh, part stem modifications axillary bud which bud sir axillary bud axillary bud uh, is used for axillary bud is used uh, for what sir vegetative propagation axillary bud uh, is uh, used uh, for what sir vegetative propagation or vegetative reproduction which bud is used axillary bud is used for what sir vegetative propagation or vegetative reproduction see these statements two statements carefully take a rhizome corm stem tuber bulb right if you see any one out of this four you can see the scale leaves therefore which leaf modification is seen in rhizome corm stem tuber and bulb sir scale leaves is it okay right therefore scale leaf is a type of leaf modification seen in all four underground stem modifications now in all underground stem modifications which bud is used for vegetative reproduction or vegetative propagation sir axillary bud axillary bud is used for vegetative propagation or vegetative reproduction okay now go for next stem modification that is aerial stem modifications number 2 
what sir aerial stem modifications aerial stem modifications now what is the meaning of aerial stem modification definition permanent change in what permanent change permanent change in morphology permanent change in morphology and physiology permanent change in morphology and physiology of what aerial stem why to perform to perform what new functions it means to perform new functions morphology and physiology of aerial stem right has modified how permanently therefore permanent change in morphology and physiology of aerial stem to perform new functions is called as a is a called as what aerial stem modifications is called as aerial stem what modifications sir aerial stem is called a, is called as a, what aerial stem modifications is called as a aerial stem modifications is it okay right sir this aerial stem modifications are of uh, mainly five types aerial stem modifications aerial stem modifications are mainly are mainly of how many types five types are mainly of uh, five types what are they number 1 stem tendrils what is the first one stem tendrils second one is a uh, thorns what is the second one sir thorns third one is a uh, hooks hooks fourth one is a uh, phylloclade or phylloclade and fifth one is a uh, bulbil should be very careful bulb is a underground stem modification whereas bulbil is a aerial stem modification bulbil is a aerial stem modification whereas bulb is a underground stem modification right therefore sir this aerial stem modifications are mainly of how many types five types what are they stem tendrils thorns hooks phylloclade and what sir bulbil right go for the first one what it is a uh, stem tendrils go for stem tendrils go for what sir stem tendrils now see this diagram sir in this diagram right this is a what sir this is a stem right this is a stem sir this is a leaf what is this one leaf sir stem leaf this upper angle is called as what axil what is this upper angle called as axil this axil contains which word sir axillary bud this axil contains which bud sir axillary bud therefore this is a axillary bud this is a axillary bud this axillary bud develops into tendril 
this axillary bud developed into what tendril sir this is tendril which tendril it is a stem tendril now see here sir this is stem tendrils they are wiry structures they are wire like they are coiled structures they are sensitive structures therefore sir tendrils are wiry coiled sensitive structures stem tendrils stem tendrils are how they are wiry coiled sensitive structures sensitive structures sir what is the function of this uh, right stem tendrils are used for climbing stem tendrils are used for what sir climbing sir what are used for climbing here stem tendrils are used for climbing how these stem tendrils are they are wiry coiled sensitive structures what are the function of stem tendrils sir they are used for climbing see this diagram in this diagram the stem tendril is developed from which bud axillary bud similarly a stem tendril may be developed from terminal bud also therefore stem tendrils are developed which tendrils stem tendrils stem tendrils are developed stem tendrils are developed from either either axillary bud stem tendrils are developed either from axillary bud or from what sir terminal bud either from axillary bud or from terminal bud stem tendrils are developed see this diagram in this diagram the stem tendril is developed from which bud sir axillary bud this is a which plant passiflora what is this plant name sir passiflora sir passiflora is also called as a passion flower what is another name for right uh, passiflora passion flower see this passiflora diagram carefully sir in this passiflora one node is with how many leaves one leaf one leaf means how many axils one axil one axil means how many axillary buds one axillary bud one axillary bud developed into how many stem tendrils one stem tendril this is in the case of passiflora therefore in passiflora in what sir passiflora one node is equals to one leaf one leaf means how many axils are present sir one axil is present one axil means how many axillary buds one axillary bud is present that one axillary bud developed into how many stem tendrils developed into one what developed into one stem tendril developed into one stem tendril is this statement okay right therefore in case of passiflora right one node one leaf therefore one axil one axillary bud one stem tendril is this statement okay right now one more important statement sir in passiflora see this leaf carefully this leaf is with how many lobes sir 1 2 3 therefore it is a trilobed simple leaf in case of passiflora we are saying that one node is with one leaf how the leaf is it is a trilobed simple leaf it is what sir trilobed trilobed simple leaf trilobed simple leaf is it okay right sir in case of passiflora stem tendril is developed from which bud sir axillary bud right then here sir stem tendril developed from developed from axillary bud can i call that stem tendril as a axillary stem tendril yes axillary bud or axillary stem tendril
axillary stem tendril or axillary but stem tendril is it okay right sir axillary stem tendril or axillary but stem tendril example what is the first example we already discussed passive flora right passion flower passive flora second example is a uh, gods sir what comes under this gods sir cucumber what sir first one cucumber number 2 pumpkin pumpkin number 3 watermelon watermelon sir this uh, gods is a common name for which family cucurbitaceae family gods uh, is a common name for which family sir cucurbitaceae family is it okay right therefore in passive flora cucumber pumpkin watermelon right uh, this uh, stem tendril is developed from which bud sir axillary bud right now listen here sir stem tendrils developed from terminal bud stem tendril developed from terminal bud sir what are that stem tendrils called as a terminal terminal stem tendrils what they are called as a terminal stem tendrils sir what are the examples sir number 1 scissors what are the first one scissors second one is a whitis sir whitis venifera means grapes draksha right therefore sir scissors and what is the second one white is white is venifera means what sir grapes so white is venifera means what sir grapes is it okay right now listen this statement carefully sir in scissors and white is in what sir scissors and white is for example this is the stem sir what it is a stem from here right a leaf has developed sir is it okay sir tip of the stem contains which bud sir terminal bud for example right this is the terminal bud this is the terminal bud this is a terminal bud terminal bud sir this terminal bud uh, develops into tendril stem tendril right developed into what sir stem tendril right now again from here a branch is developed sir what is developed a branch is developed again right uh, if you see on this branch uh, for example this is a leaf sir right and tip of the branch contains a terminal bud right tip of the branch contains what sir terminal bud this terminal bud again develops into what sir stem tendril develops into stem tendril see what is this one this is leaf what is this one stem tendril it means the stem tendril is opposite to leaf in the case of scissors and white is venifera in what and what sir in scissors and white is in both the cases in scissors and white is in both the cases the stem tendril is leaf opposite what stem tendril stem tendril is a leaf opposite stem tendril is a leaf opposite see this diagram this is leaf this is stem tendril stem tendril is leaf opposite stem tendril is leaf opposite in the case of what and what sir scissors and white is what and what scissors and white is is it clear right go for the second uh, aerial stem modification it's thorns right sir thorns are uh, hard thorns are what sir they are hard uh, woody straight pointed structures sir this thorns are provided with vascular supply and uh, 
provided uh, with what sir they are provided with a uh, vascular supply provided with vascular supply sir provided with vascular supply means vascular tissues are present vascular tissues means what and what xylem and phloem therefore sir thorns are hard uh, woody straight uh, pointed structures provided with what sir vascular supply it means contains vascular tissues that is xylem and phloem sir what is the function of this thorns sir they provides uh, protection therefore thorns uh, protects thorns protects uh, what plants thorns protects plants uh, from herbivorous animals herbivorous animals sir can we call this herbivorous animals as grazing animals yes is it okay right therefore thorns protects uh, plants from herbivorous animals nothing but grazing animals sir this thorns are developed either from axillary bud or from terminal bud therefore thorns uh, developed thorns developed from thorns developed from either what axillary bud or from where sir terminal bud thorns are developed either from axillary bud or from what sir terminal bud first go for axillary bud right first go for axillary bud axillary bud examples bougainvillea what is the first example bougainvillea what is the common name of bougainvillea paper flower what it is sir paper flower paper flower second one is a second example citrus what is the second example citrus third one is a duranta duranta and next one is a uh, punica punica sir punica means uh, pomegranate anar yes or no right therefore sir bougainvillea citrus duranta punica in this four examples uh, thorns are developed from which bud sir axillary bud thorns are developed from axillary bud is this statement okay right take a bougainvillea plant what it is a bougainvillea what is the common name of bougainvillea paper flower paper sweet or paper flower it's a paper flower if you take this bougainvillea plant uh, in case of bougainvillea plant in case of bougainvillea plant uh, if you assume this as a stem right this as a node each node contains one leaf each node is with how many leaves sir one leaf each node is with one leaf is it okay sir this is a stem this is a leaf what is this one axil axil contains which bud sir axillary bud axil contains which bud sir axillary bud this axillary bud develops into a thorn axillary bud develops into what sir thorn axillary bud develops into a thorn therefore see this diagram sir in this diagram right of bougainvillea one node is with how many leaves one leaf sir one leaf means how many axils one axil sir this one axil is having how many axillary buds sir how many axillary buds are present one axillary bud is present one axillary bud is present sir that one axillary bud developed into how many thorns sir developed into one thorn 
developed into how many thorns one thorn is this statement okay right now go for next example what it is duranta go for duranta now go for duranta right take a duranta now in the first class itself i told diagrams are right they won't be neat but they will be scientific and they will be self explanatory it means by seeing the diagram you will get the statements for example this is duranta plant see sir this is a node this is node right at this node how many leaves are there sir two leaves two leaves means how many axils sir two axils two axils means how many axillary buds two axillary buds each axillary bud i am not saying two axillary buds i am saying each axillary bud develops into one thorn each axillary bud develops into one thorn therefore in case of duranta in case of duranta one node how many axils one node right one node with how many leaves two leaves two leaves means how many axils sir two axils two axils means how many axillary buds two axillary buds sir two axillary buds means how many thorns sir two thorns now you tell me how many thorns are present in each axil one thorn how many thorns are present at each node two thorns at each node two thorns are present in each axil each axil one thorn is present one axillary bud developed into how many thorns one thorn what is the speciality of duranta means uh, in duranta this thorns bears leaves and flowers in which plant duranta in what sir duranta thorn bears what and what thorn bears uh, leaves and flowers thorns bears what sir leaves and flowers is this example okay right now go for the next example punica punica granatum nothing but pomegranate anar right sir in case of punica thorn bears uh, leaves and branches thorns bears what sir leaves and uh, branches thorns bears leaves and what sir branches is it okay right now go for next case that is which bud sir terminal bud i already told you thorns are developed either from axillary bud or from terminal bud till now we discussed examples of axillary buds now we are going for terminal bud example for terminal bud carisa what is sir carisa carisa is it okay right sir carisa carandus carisa in case of this carisa plant uh, thorns are developed from which bud sir terminal bud now see this statement carefully sir this is a stem right tip of the stem contains which bud sir tip of the stem tip of the stem contains which bud terminal bud sir in this diagram how many terminal buds are there one this one terminal bud develops into how many thorns this one terminal bud develops into how many thorns two thorns therefore in case of carisa carandus in case of carisa carandus one terminal bud how many terminal buds one terminal bud develops into how many thorns sir two thorns two thorns means what sir a pair of thorns two thorns means what a pair of uh, thorns two thorns means uh, a pair of thorns is this statement okay right now listen this statement carefully sir in carisa carandus in what sir carisa carandus in carisa carandus if 10 branches are present 
if 10 branches are present then number of thorns present in it are number of thorns present on the plant are this is the question in carries if number of branches if number of branches are 10 if number of branches are 10 then number of thorns on the plant are how many thorns are present on the plant number of thorns present on the plant are how many branches are there sir 10 branches yes or no 10 branches sir one branch one branch one terminal bud one branch is equals to how many terminal buds one terminal bud one terminal bud means uh, right two thorns in case of carisa yes or no two thorns here 10 branches are there 10 branches 10 branches means uh, 10 terminal buds right but one terminal bud two thorns therefore 10 terminal buds uh, 20 thorns 20 thorns plus stem on stem right one terminal bud is present on stem one terminal bud is present one terminal bud means uh, how many thorns sir 22 thorns therefore totally becomes how many thorns here sir 22 thorns therefore number of thorns on plant in carisa is equals to number of branches number of branches into 2 plus 2 therefore in carries a number of thorns on plant number of thorns on plant is equals to number of branches into 2 number of branches into 2 plus 2 is it okay we completed thorns remaining 2 will come remaining 3 we will complete tomorrow is it okay right thank you